What actually gave rise to this program was maybe about a year ago, the Marine Corps Commandant said he wanted a quad for every squad. Basically what we've done is taken two emerging technologies, 3D printing and quadcopters, and sort of put them together in a way that gives a soldier a customized vehicle right when they need it, and it gives them exactly the capabilities that they need on demand. With the 3D printed quadcopters that we're doing, you can essentially swap a new part in within a day, and that's really crucial when you have quickly changing mission needs. You need to have quickly changing assets to respond. So there's really no limit on one performance metric like range or endurance. It's just a matter of creating what you need. A lot of the time someone will, will look at the UAS is sitting on a table and they'll ask questions such as, how much can it carry? How long can it fly? How far can it go? We would like the question to be internally, how far do I need to fly? What do I need to carry? What does my mission need to be? And then the tools that we're developing will help you actually design the most appropriate UAS for that mission. We want to put the latest technology on the next day. We're able to do that by just 3D printing and making little adjustments and handing it off immediately. It takes about 24 hours to go from I need a quad that does X, Y, Z, to having it in your hand ready to go. There you go. Yeah, you start to lose your sense of direction without the cameras on. There you go. Careful now, don't. Voltage? Okay. Try the uh, stabilizer. Yeah. Okay, give me a second. I'll get you set up for it. Yeah. I got it back. Get away from us. Okay, you got it back. See, all the uh, computers are doing a lot of work for you. It gets a little crazy. Hold on, I got you back. Nice. Sweet. Good landing. Nice. Here is why a brief autonomous mission will just kind of loop around the field and come home. And then I'll just switch it back to manual flight and let them uh, play around with the head tracking a little bit. Keep it.
get cracked like that, you just gotta swap it. going in a direction that you think is wrong for what helps you, we probably shouldn't be. Samsung, Travis? Okay. I think that's so a good idea. next time we come down here we can that gives us a target from mm -hmm. what you're gonna use. Yeah, that's not. what we crazy noises to it, so it doesn't make a lot of noise. You know, and, and like that program you have, I mean, that's the way I would use it. I would pre-program it, have my coordinates, and have it fly around for me. In my and I don't know what you guys are going to do with them <laughs> beyond print some of the things that we showed you today or the last couple days, right? So, but it, if you do ever have any questions about those, uh, those types of things, feel free to reach out to me. I do have one thing, so with recognition of last solar farm, we've taken uh, a lot of pains in making that as easy as possible. Click the calendar button, and then you get out of an SD card a removable media. You have assembly instructions that are 